Hi, this is Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today for your oracle card reading for October 4th, 2017. And I have been feeling the pull from these cards for the past few days. I mean, I just started a couple days ago doing these readings for you, but I've been feeling called to use these cards. I keep not using them because they just have one word on them. But I feel like I need to do something with these. These are Healing with Your Angels by Doreen Virtue. Um, they were the very first ever deck that I ever purchased. I know some of my other very first ever decks that I got um, whenever I first started buying cards have vanished um, in the process of moving a couple of times. But these ones have always stuck around. These are the first deck I ever got. Um, so I'm going to draw a card and see what it says and go from there. I have another deck here that I think that I'm going to use um, to draw an additional card for some additional meaning. But I may, I think that I may want to discuss a meditation idea for whatever card that I draw out of this deck. I think that this deck is telling me that we need to meditate on something so I am just gonna shuffle until something pops out that well nothing's gonna pop out so I'm just going to cut the cards and take one listening so when we're talking about a meditation topic and we draw the listening card this is perfect um, Meditation can help us learn how to listen to ourselves, to our to our spirit guides, to our angels. Um, it can meditation can help us hear God. It can help us hear what our um, it can help us hear hear what the universe has in store for us that is going to help us create what we need for our best life. Um, I'm not really sure how to describe what I'm trying to say and I know that that keeps being my problem and it makes me sound like an idiot on these videos but it it ha meditation can help us listen so that we can become our best selves. Um, it will help us feel and do what is in the best interest for our soul in this karmic creation um, whatever karmic cycle you're on or whatever creation you're in um, in this life meditation can help us listen and hear what what our true purpose is so what I want you to do um, is I like to meditate at bedtime, but you may like to meditate in the morning or in the afternoon or whenever you feel really stressed. Um, and when you're really stressed out, it's a good time to meditate as well, just to take a minute away from whatever's bothering you. Um, I'm going to lay the card down now. Um, it can help you go back inside and hear what is the best thing for you. Um, so what I want you to do whenever it's best for you to meditate, I want you to um, just stop and think until the thinking goes away. Um, I know I discussed in one of my other videos that for me whenever I begin a meditation I like to close my eyes and as I breathe in I count to one and when I breathe out I count two and then when I breathe in again I count three and as I breathe out I count four and I just keep going five six seven eight until the numbers go away and when the numbers the numbers are what helps me block everything else out of my brain because my mind is always kind of running on a hamster wheel um, the numbers help me clear all of that out and then when the numbers go away there's nothing there um, and yes, things pop in and pop out, but whenever they do, then I start counting over again, and I 
blank it out. A lot of times I find whenever um, those thoughts that pop in, those are, I think, my spirit guides talking to me and telling me what I need to hear at this moment. Um, so when you're stressed, that's a good time to go into yourself and hear what your guides have to say to you or what your angels have to say to you or what your God has to say to you. That's a really good time just to kind of unplug from everything else. And I think um, discussing meditation, listening is really important because meditation is what helps us listen to our inner self. Um, and I really think, I, I do want to draw a card from this other deck that I have out. This deck, I used Healing with the Fairies the other day, um, but this deck is also by Doreen Virtue. That's who most of my cards are from. Some of my other cards I have, I can't remember who they're from at this moment, so I have to look those up before I can look that up before I can share those with you guys. I, as I said before, I don't have the boxes to most of my cards anymore. They got lost in my move. Um, but these are magical fairies cards, um, magical messages from your fairies. So I'm going to shuffle and draw one of these as well, and I think that this. Did you, do you see how that kind of popped out there? I think that that might be what our message from the fairies is. And it says, Spring, your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. And I know that right now, this is hard to hear because right now we're just, we've just started into fall. If you're in um, the northern hemisphere, I think, um... Yeah, that's where I am. If you're in, like, the United States, Canada, Mexico, um, you're probably, um, Europe, Asia, maybe. I don't know. Now I'm sounding like a big idiot. I'm sorry. But if you're right now, um, in our half of the world, we have just started fall, um, recently. So... This may sound like a long time to wait for spring to come, but I think that everything goes in cycles. Um, the seasons go in cycles, our life goes in cycles, over, and our life cycles over and over and over. Um, I think that if we continue to meditate and listen to our guides and hear what it is that they want for us to do if we start putting our self into motion like taking steps forward towards what they want us to do because things don't happen overnight um, it, it's a long process whenever we're looking to change something in our lives and a lot of my other readings this week have been about change of letting go of something and moving on to something new I think if we start meditating and listening and hearing our guides now and start taking those steps forward towards what they want for us, um, then I think that by spring, I think we'll be ready to receive what the new good positive thing that we're meant for. Um, I think that that's when we'll really see the full effect of our change manifest is in the spring and through these dark months through the fall and the winter that's a really good time to start making changes so that whenever the light comes back again in the spring and things become um things start blooming and things start manifesting that's just pretty much how the cycle of life goes I think that um we have to start taking those steps now by meditating and listening to our guides. And then in the spring, those things will come, start, will start coming about for us. They'll start, um, we'll start seeing the benefits of the change. We'll start seeing the good things that are meant for us. And I think that's all that I have for you today. So, 
Um, if you're new to my channel, or, well, my channel is new, but anyway, um, please like and subscribe so that you won't miss any of my daily card readings. And leave me a comment and let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see me do readings for. Um, let me know if there are any other types of videos that you would like to see. I think this weekend I'm going to be going to my niece's band competition and if I'm allowed I may video and post some I may record and post some videos from her band competition I'm not sure if that's something that I can upload or not but I will see and I will be back tomorrow for your next oracle card reading thank you